We had taken the other side of the world by storm, but our old enemies followed. As the Zamorin beat his war drums, Ottomans and Egyptians rallied to him. Their ships were carried over the desert and rebuilt by treacherous Venetians. In India, an unlikely Russian renegade called Malika Yaz raised the Muslim armies of Gujarat in defense of the Hindu Zamorin. Gold had truly become more powerful than God. As this coalition of Hindus, Muslims, and Christians descended on us, liars and jackals flocked to the court of King Manuel. They filled his ears with lies that Don Francisco had betrayed Portugal and convinced the young king to dispatch an armada led by Alfonso de Albuquerque to relieve my captain of the viceroy ship. Don Francisco, however, was in no mood for politics. Tragedy struck off the coast of Chol. In a road naval battle, my captain's beloved son Renko was slain by Amir Hussein, admiral of the Mamluk fleet of Egypt. Though he deeply loved his son, Tom Francisco did not shed tears for his death. In repayment, my captain vowed to shed blood. By order of His Majesty, you are to be relieved as Viceroy of India and return to Portugal for inquiry into your activities in the Indies. The king does not know the pain of a son's death. Send the priest to Albuquerque's men to promise them God and gold if they follow me. Not even the king will deny me my vengeance.
seu farol, ao seu castelo. Oh, 
Farei lo é.
Farai Farei do way, as armas. As armas. Farei, farei do way, farei, farei do way. Entendido. Entendido. Atacar. Entendido. Avançar. Farei do way, farei do way. Sim.
Construir. Minerar. Construir. Ao seu dispor. Sim! Eu farei do E. Farei do E. Sim! Quais são as Farei do E.
son's death avenged, Don Francisco surrendered the viceroyship of India and wrote his final chapter. He would not return to his beloved Portugal, landing in southern Africa to collect water. His party was ambushed by the Koikoi natives. We found his body on that forsaken white beach. In the five years since we departed Lisbon, we followed Don Francisco to the edge of the earth. We fought ebony-skinned warriors in the jungles and savannas of Africa, battled Mamluk sailors on the decks of galleys heaving in the monsoon waves, and struggled against armies of elephants and camels in the sprawling cities of India. Our caravels had taken us to the distant shores unknown to our ancestors, and awoken Europe to a world beyond our dreams.